गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो टूडे टॉपिक इज रिकॉर्डिंग ऑफ बीपी ब्लड प्रेशर सो फर्स्ट थिंग फर्स्ट ब्लड प्रेशर हम किसकी बात कर रहे हैं यहाँ पे वी विल रिकॉर्ड इट इन आर्टीरियल ब्लड प्रेशर सो इट विल बी रिकॉर्डेड इन रेडियल आर्टरी ओके सो टूडे वील अंडरस्टैंड द एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ रिकॉर्डिंग ऑफ आर्टीरियल ब्लड प्रेशर एंड वी विल रिकॉर्ड इट इन रेडियल आर्टरी फर्स्ट थिंग फर्स्ट वॉट इज ब्लड प्रेशर सो ब्लड प्रेशर इज it is the lateral pressure exerted by a moving column of blood on the vessel wall while flowing through it theek hai na ye hai blood pressure ki definition it is the lateral pressure exerted by a moving column of blood on the vessel wall while flowing through it kya kya components hote hain iske number 1 systolic blood pressure number 2 diastolic blood pressure number 3 pulse pressure and number 4 mean blood pressure systolic blood pressure kya hota hai it is a maximum pressure exerted during systole matlab contraction ke phase pe diastolic blood pressure kya hota hai it is the minimum pressure exerted during diastole matlab relaxation ke phase mein what is the pulse pressure it is the difference between systolic and diastolic blood pressure and what is mean blood pressure it is the average pressure throughout the cardiac cycle राइट नाउ ब्लड प्रेशर को जब भी हम क्लिनिकली ब्लड प्रेशर एक्सप्रेस करते हैं तो कैसे करते हैं इट इज ऑलवेज एक्सप्रेस एज सिस्टोलिक ब्लड प्रेशर ओवर डायस्टोलिक ब्लड प्रेशर नॉर्मल वैल्यूज कितनी रहती है नॉर्मल वैल्यू ऑफ एक यंग एडल्ट हेल्थी ह्यूमन बीइंग में नॉर्मल ब्लड प्रेशर की वैल्यूज जो है दैट इज सिस्टोलिक बीपी एज रेंजेस फ्रॉम हंड्रेड टू वन फोर्टी मिलीमीटर मर्करी सो द यूनिट इज मिलीमीटर मर्करी So normal range is 100 to 140 mm of mercury systolic diastolic blood pressure ranges from 60 to 90 mm mercury pulse pressure is systolic blood pressure minus diastolic blood pressure right so it come iska average kitna hai 100 to 140 is the standard range systolic ka average is 120 mm mercury average Diastolic blood pressure 60 to 90. Average standard is 80 millimeter mercury. So difference कितना आ जाएगा इसका 40 millimeter mercury for pulse pressure. Now mean blood pressure is it is calculated by a formula diastolic blood pressure plus one third of pulse pressure, right? So इसको आप calculate कर सकते हैं जितनी भी आपकी readings आ रही हैं उसके accordingly. Now these are the components. तो ब्लड प्रेशर कैसे मेंशन होता है सिस्टोलिक ओवर डायस्टोलिक सो एवरेज स्टैंडर्ड कितना मेंशन होता है 120 ट्वेंटी ओब्लिक एट्टी मिलीमीटर मर्करी दिस इज दी अबाउट दी ब्लड प्रेशर एंड दी कंपोनेंट्स नाउ रिकॉर्डिंग ऑफ ब्लड प्रेशर के लिए किस किस इंस्ट्रूमेंट की जरूरत है सो दिस इज एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट कॉल्ड एज स्विगमो मैनोमीटर एंड एज यू कैन सी दिस इज स्टेथोस्कोप राइट स्विगमो मैनोमीटर में क्या है Now blood pressure actually can be recorded by two methods, direct method and indirect method. Today we are going to discuss indirect method. Direct method में cannula का use होता है, which is not being practically done here. So what we will do is indirect method. Indirect method में आप sphygmo manometer का use करेंगे. As you can see, there is a lock here, right? For on and off to the manometer tube. This is a graduated glass tube with certain oscillations. Going up to 300, from 0 to 300, mercury reservoir, a rubber tube end which is on one end it is connected to mercury reservoir and on the other end it is connected to a there is a if you can see inside there is a bag inflatable rubber bag which is covered by a cloth. It this cloth piece is called river rocky cuff. So this entire portion is called the river rocky cuff. Right, river rocky cuff. Now this cuff has a measurement size of 24 by 12 centimeters to be used in adults. Right. So, आपको कुछ कुछ चीजों का ध्यान रखना है. This is a screw to inflate and deflate. Right. So this is a valve screw. This is a rubber bulb to inflate or deflate. Right. Rubber tubing and this sensible cloth which is covering the inflatable rubber bag this green color inside okay and this is a stethoscope i hope stethoscope use karna aapko abhi tak aata hoga if not then understand 
You cannot use the stethoscope from my end. I cannot use the stethoscope like this. It has to be used like this, right? Now stethoscope ka these things has to be inserted in the direction of auditory canal, right? Now, how will you do it? So first I'll tell theoretically, then I'll give the demo. Theoretically, aap kaise uh, you will use two methods. Number one, by palpatory method. And number two, by auscultatory method. Palpatory method and auscultatory method. In two methods, you will check the BP. Palpatory method, mein aap kya you will make your subject subject here in terms of clinical it you will use the patient right so palpatory method mein aap kya karenge? you will make your subject sit in a uh, comfortable position in a very relaxed state of mind and then you will check the pulsations so i'll give the demo and meanwhile i'll keep explaining so your subject should be sitting like this in a comfortable position. Then, आपको इसको कैसे wrap करना है? आप turn over. The arm should be, he should be sitting comfortably and the arm should be at the heart level. It should not be hanging like this and it should not be up. It should be at the level of the heart. Now, how will you rotate it? Keeping these rubber tubings over. These rubber tubings should be above the arm. It should not be below. It has not to be wrapped. This is the wrong way. It has to be wrapped, wrapped like this. Rubber tubings above the arm. This rubber tubing should not go lateral. It should be going medially. Right? And then rotate. Where rotate you rotate? Cubital fossa se 2 to 3 centimeters above. Okay? And it should not be as tight. This tightness is how much One finger should penetrate easily. Okay? This is how you rotate and then you clip it up. Right? Tubing is coming medially and the cuff is rotated. Cubital force is 2 to 3 centimeters. One finger can, should penetrate easily. Then, now I will do what I will do is. With the use of three fingers, you check the pulse. You look for the radial pulse. Right? This is palpatory method. Now, palpatory method, then you lock it up. You lock the screw so that you can inflate. Now, when you are feeling the pulse, you are feeling the radial pulse, you start inflating. And uh, till when do you uh, inflate the bulb? Till the point where it is missing you can go to 20 to 30 millimeters higher than that right so i start inflating now i'm still feeling the pulse i'm still feeling the pulse okay so around 122 i have stopped feeling the pulse so i go up to 150 now i start deflating very slowly 2 to 3 millimeter fall every second now the point where i got it is 118 118 I got the pulse back now this gives me the systolic blood pressure by palpatory method okay so this was systolic blood pressure by palpatory method now for diastolic now uh, palpatory method doesn't give you the diastolic blood pressure okay this is a disadvantage of palpatory method number one now for the auscultatory method the second is auscultatory method right for auscultatory method you need to do the use of stethoscope as the word says palpation was about touching auscultation is about listening so second method is auscultatory now what will you do in auscultatory method the systolic bp reading that you have got from the palpatory method you will now this time you will place the chest piece this diaphragm of the chest piece over the brachial artery brachial artery kaha milenge aapko right medial to the biceps tendon in the cubital fossa Correct? So here, here it is placed like this. And then you, from, from the other hand, with the use of your thumb and your index finger, you lock it and you start inflating. Kaha tak inflate karenge 
20 to 30 millimeters higher than the systolic BP that you got from palpatory method. So I rose up to there and then you start deflating slowly, gradually, 2 to 3 millimeter fall every second. Yes. So now when the st sounds start appearing and you start listening to the tapping sound, clear tapping sound, that gives you the systolic. You keep deflating it, you keep deflating it. The moment where it disappears, that gives you the diastolic blood pressure. Okay? Then you deflate it completely. And then you can make the subject relax and unwrap the cuff. Okay? Now, what is the mistake that we do is कुछ बातों का ध्यान क्या-क्या देना है इसमें नंबर 1 पर्सन शुड बी सिटिंग कंफर्टेबली रिलैक्स ही शुड नॉट बी अभी अभी भाग के आया एकदम आपने कर दिया ही शुड नॉट बी स्टैंडिंग ही शुड नॉट बी लाइंग डाउन ही शुड नॉट बी इन एनी अदर पोजीशन ही शुड नॉट बी एक्साइटेड ही शुड नॉट बी एंशियस ही शुड नॉट बी द रीडिंग शुड नॉट बी टेकन राइट इमीडिएटली आफ्टर द मील ओके सो दीस अ फ्यू थिंग्स शुड बी टेकन केयर ऑफ कफ का जैसे हमने आपको बताया वो बहुत जरूरी है इट शुड नॉट बी बिलो इट शुड बी अबव द ट्यूबिंग शुड बी फेसिंग मीडियली द कफ शुड बी टाइट सो दैट वन फिंगर कैन इजीली पेनिट्रेट राइट एंड देन इट शुड बी प्लेस 2 टू 3 सेंटीमीटर अबव द क्यूबिटल फोसा द लोअर बॉर्डर शुड बी 2 टू 3 सेंटीमीटर अबव द क्यूबिटल फोसा नाउ व्हाट आर द डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ पल्पेट्री मेथड इन दिस पल्पेट्री मेथड का डिसएडवांटेज इज नंबर 1 Diastolic blood pressure record nahi hota hai. Number two, you miss out on something called as auscultatory gap. There is a term called auscultatory gap. Now what is auscultatory gap? Hota kya hai? In few uh, hypertensive patients, auscultatory gap ka kya matlab hai? There is a silent gap. In few hypertensive patients, uh, aap jo inflate karenge, वो आप वहां तक इन्फ्लेट करते हैं जहां तक आपको साउंड सुनाई देना बंद हो गया है राइट बट यू नेवर नो देयर इज अ साइलेंट गैप कुछ हाइपरटेंसिव पेशेंट में देयर इज एन अननोन साइलेंट गैप जिसमें ऑसिलेशंस uh, जो हैं वो ऊपर की मार्किंग तक शायद साउंड्स हैं एंड देन देयर इज अ साइलेंट गैप एंड देन देयर आर मार्किंग्स राइट सो यू आर इन्फ्लेटिंग एंड यू इन्फ्लेट अप टू दिस लेवल लेट्स से एंड यू स्टार्ट डिफ्लेटिंग तो आपको सिस्टोलिक रीडिंग कहां मिलेगी यहां but अगर आपने palpatory method से systolic blood pressure already record किया हुआ है, then you can you already know the systolic reading. तो आप उस systolic reading को अपना benchmark लेके उससे ऊपर तक inflate कर सकते हैं, and that is how you will not miss out on this silent gap. Now the the causes for this silent gap are not perfectly known even till today. There are many assumptions for that, but it is not perfectly known, right? So by auscultatory uh, gap I mean the silent gap. Right, which is not missed out if you do the palpatory method. That is why both the methods are uh, necessary and are equally important. But disadvantage palpatory method का क्या है? Number one, diastolic blood pressure नहीं मिलता है. Number two, it gives you systolic blood pressure little lower than the actual systolic blood pressure. क्यों? Because यहाँ से आप pulse को यहाँ feel कर रहे हैं radial पे, right? So the there will be a time taken from the blood to flow from here to here, from brachial to radial. And this time period, mercury column is also falling down, right? Another thing important about this method is uh, the procedure that we have demonstrated right now is on mercury column. This is obsolete uh, by the government now because of environmental hazard reasons. So in today's date, what we use is the analogs, right? The there are different meters. So आप बाकी method ऐसे रहेगा आप ऐसे ही inflate करेंगे ऐसे ही deflate करेंगे but just it is attached to not to the mercury in that it is attached to the analog right so this is all about recording of blood pressure so a quick review components uh, of blood pressure systolic diastolic pulse pressure and mean blood pressure आपको यही calculate करना है observation table में भी आप यही calculate करके लिखेंगे uh, in uh, systolic blood pressure then there will be a column of diastolic blood pressure. You will mention the method palpatory and auscultatory. Palpatory, you will take the reading of systolic and you will mention it. Obviously, diastolic will not be there in palpatory method. Next will be auscultatory method and there will be you will be writing systolic as well as diastolic. You can take up to three readings by auscultatory method. Right? Kaise kiya humne? Uh, sigma manometer ka use kiya palpatory method ke liye. 
यू पुट योर फिंगर्स टू चेक द पल्स जब आपको पल्स मिल रही है कफ रोटेट करने के बाद देन यू स्टार्ट इन्फ्लेटिंग इन्फ्लेट करते करते द मोमेंट द पल्स डिसअपियर्स उससे 20 टू 30 मिलीमीटर हायर तक यू कैन इन्फ्लेट एंड देन स्टार्ट डिफ्लेटिंग वेरी ग्रेजुअली विद स्पीड ऑफ टू टू थ्री मिलीमीटर मर्करी फॉल एवरी सेकेंड राइट एज इट फॉल्स एंड यू आर फॉलोइंग इट डाउन द मोमेंट यू गेट द पल्स अगेन द पल्स रीअपियर्स दैट गिवस यू दैट पर्टिकुलर रीडिंग गिवस यू दी सिस्टोलिक ब्लड प्रेशर बाय पेल्फेटरी मेथड नाउ वंस यू हैव दिस यू डोंट गेट डायस्टोलिक ब्लड प्रेशर बाय पेल्फेटरी मेथड once you have that systolic reading for auscultatory you can again you can use the stethoscope this time by placing the diaphragm of the chest piece over the brachial artery right brachial artery kahan milegi aapko right medial to the biceps tendon in the antecubital fossa so this time you have to listen now systolic blood pressure jo aapko reading already mil chuka hai aap usse 20 30 mm higher tak inflate karenge you start deflating gradually when you start listening to tapping sound clear tapping sound that gives you the systolic blood pressure and where it disappears it is called the diastolic blood pressure now this series of sounds that you listen to is called korotkov sounds this method was given by a russian physician his name was korotkov so there is a series of sounds called korotkov sounds right the clear tapping sound is called the phase 1 of korotkov sounds then it becomes little murmurish that that is called the phase 2 of krotkov sounds then it becomes dull right dull and and, and very banging sound it is called 3 phase 3 and phase 4 it finally become disappears so that gives you the diastolic blood pressure of the uh, by auscultatory method this is how you record that is all thank you so much